So a, uh, a few years ago, I bought some uh, Oregon poles. They were made for a, a show jumping or something. And um, I've made a few things with these over the last couple of years. Um, the roof on my woodshed, um, the roof on the uh, hunting hut that I've got down the land. Some legs that I've made on some other things. But um, what I'm going to do this weekend is I'm going to make a... Uh, a rustic bed so I've done a few of these um, posts already I'll crack on with a few more and just show you what I'm doing really is just planing them and then sanding them um, and then we'll fill it with some uh, some epoxy black uh, filler make it look nice and we varnish it all up so I'll grab another one of these and show you what we're doing As you can see, this is um, needs a little bit more work, but you get the gist of where we're at. That's the flat edge I'm after. <sighs> Seven more to go. <sighs> Look at that. How beautiful is that? So there the, um, the four legs all cut to size. What I need to do now is mark out the uh, the mortise. I've got three going in uh, the long ones and two going in the short ones. And I think I'm going to use a hole saw for the mortise tool. Okay, so what I've got is a uh, 60 mil hole saw, which is basically the perfect size for the smallest, or the narrowest end of all my tenons. Okay, for practical purposes, I'll show you how I clean that one out. I'll find a drill bit. So, while I don't have a drill bit, which is going to be 60 mil, I do have a 38. Should clear most of it out. These throw a lot of uh, chippings around, so just watch your eyes. Not your eyes, because you'll be on a camera. Okay, so that's the hole, relatively clean out. Um, once this is all sanded down and these edges are all nice and neat and we've cut a nice tenon to go in there, I think it's going to look good. Okay, so I've done all the mortises for the bed head and bedstead and what I'm going to do next is start to create the, uh, the horizontals that go between them. I've rigged up this little um, clamp system to hold the pole and it's just, this is fixed, this moves and I've just hooked up a um, an old tie down strap, just a cheap one, um, attached it at the back, put a, uh, a screw in this side just to hold it and then that really will prevent this from moving okay so that's pretty steady there and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this I'm going to mark this about 50 mil 
in because I know that that's the depth of my tenons, sorry, my uh, mortises. I'm going to mark that. And that's the bit that I need at the same diameter as this hole here. The other thing I'm going to do is give myself a little bit more, maybe what well, have I got, 65? 65 to start shaving back from this diameter to the new diameter, just so it looks a little bit kind of rustic like. So I've got them marked out. And what I want to do now is actually um, get an idea of where I want to be at this end. So I'm just going to drill. Now I'm not going to go too far with this. All I'm going to do is mark out the circle that I need to be at this end. And that's going to be in the middle of this pole. So I'll just find the center there. All I'm doing is scoring that so I can see where I'm aiming. Now, what I've got here is this little baby. My daughter's bought me this for birthday one year. I've used it a bit, but I guess this is another use for it. I'm no expert at this, so I haven't done it a lot, but how hard can it be, right? Now I haven't cut this to length yet, I want to see what kind of progress we make knocking this into the uh, into the uh, mortise to get a tight fit. Once I get an idea on this side then I can cut the other side to size. So that's pretty snug. I'll just make a mark on this so I'll get an idea of how it's gone. And hopefully, I'm about to get back off again. Okay, I'm getting in about 45 mil, and the hole is 50 mil at best. Maybe a little bit over 45, 50 mil. I think I'm happy with that. I can see the pinch points here. I'll just shave it down a little bit more, and um, that'll be good. Probably just give it a bit of a sand. So the sanding really is just to cover up the uh, cover up the uh, bad workmanship from me. But I think that's good now. I know that all these holes are the same, so no matter which one I try, it's going to fit nicely. Like a shop bought one, isn't it? Perfect. Just a heap more to go. Okay, so this is the main two frames, all done. Tested them as a dry fit. They're fine. Just now marking them all up to make sure that we um, are the correct ones. I'll take them apart now, sand them down. I'll sort these ends out here, I'll chamfer these off with the draw knife from top and bottom and uh, I've got about what well, maybe one, two, three, four, maybe four or five verticals to put in there from that old pole there. 
Well, what I'm doing now is mixing up the uh, resin filler, but it's uh, really hard to mix. It's it's like it's almost like it's um, maybe it's just too cold. But it's really hard, so I'll mix that up, put some colour in, and then we'll start to fill these. See how it turns out. Well, that didn't really go as planned. It's not the colour I was after. Alright. And it wasn't that easy to mix. So once we send it down tomorrow, we'll see what it looks like. Can't do anything about it now. So the next thing I've got to do is these rails. I need to Cut these rails so they'll hold the uh, the slats for the bed. What I need to do is cut a uh, basically a 90 degree cheese wedge all the way down the longitude of this. So I've got a plan. We'll see if it works. Take about take about 40 mil down should leave enough meat in the actual uh, timber to hold the slats of that side so 40 mil Not perfect, but um, gives us the right angle we need so the slats can go along here. Do the same on the other side. It should um, make us a bed. So what I found is um, this resin will not set um, if it's really cold, like it has been here, probably four three two degrees celsius so i brought it in overnight um just huddled it around the fire in the games room and and i think it's drying pretty solid now so there's a lesson learned so we've got it all put together it's all glued no screws in it just tenon mortise joints and then tomorrow we'll put the rails on which are down here and they'll be bolted on with these angle brackets on the underneath should be enough to pull them in pull the tenons in and keep them there <laughs> 